What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're going to check out Botchamania 448. You guys will hit me up on Twitter to check this out, a new episode. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Appreciate all the love and support, the likes. Guys, we're running up the views, running up the subscriptions. We're close to 70K on this channel, man. Road to 100K uh, before the year is up. And I'm pretty sure I think we can hit that, man. So let's get right into this one. I've been enjoying the Botchamania series so far. And uh, let's check out this uh, latest episode. Hey, this is Brian Alvarez. And Filthy Tom all are here with my... Wait, we should have said that first. I should introduce us as a show. What better team to introduce Botchmania than the worst fucking tag team of all time? The Chop and Roll Express. What? Never won a match together as a team. We could only win when we were apart. But today we're together here to introduce Botchmania. Quite frankly, two bad wrestlers know a bad video when they see one. And is the worst. I like Bajamania, man. I, I like these, these meme style videos related to wrestling. I love it. Put in the danger zone. <laughs> A little while ago. Wow. So that's what he said. I, I remember watching the clip. I just didn't know what he uh, what the fan had said. Wow, that's disrespectful. I'm glad uh, Moxley gave that dude the boot. Yeah, get that dude out of here, man. Trying to ruin a, a special moment. Hey, go fuck yourself. Get that guy out of here. Yeah. Piece of shit. There we go. Get him out of here. Okay, the multi-camera angle. Oh! He's in the front row. That's what's crazy. Oh, good. She's okay. Okay. Big hug. Oh, that was pretty cool. She caught that all on camera, too. Talk about being part of the action. Look at this. With such elevation and force. That was. Did enough damage to Macklin. And now Miguel back in pursuit. That was cool. Get a monster! That's my monster! No, no, oh! The table didn't break! <laughs> no way, what? Yo! <laughs> I don't lie to you. The song with uh, uh, Kanye West in the game, Easy, I like that song. <laughs> I ain't bring nothing to the table. When I'm the table, the table didn't break. I love it. That should be the theme song for all tables that don't break. <laughs> oh, I've seen this clip. You guys have been sending it to me. Paul Heyman slips. I've, I've seen this one. That's funny. He did not see that step. Pull the lever, crunk. Jesus! <laughs> What do you mean, what happened? What are you, blind? All right. Okay. It's kind of weird because he's holding his hand. It's, it's yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, usually you're supposed to do it by yourself. So it's like, I don't know. I guess I don't know. I guess, and that's the ref too. And he definitely botched that. Oh. Definitely whip. Bro, it, it just takes you out of when the opponent's just sitting there waiting for you to get in a position. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. That was awful. That was truly awful. Uh-oh, we got a ladder spot. The ref trying to move the ladder out the way. Oh, my God. He is high up, too. Ooh! Mom, Dad, come here. You got to see this. 
<laughs> Jeez. Other team. Oh, it was the oh. other team. <laughs> Did he say whoa? <laughs> they are the Master of Trade Style. Is Demonic Flamina and Grigo Loco. Whoa. <laughs> he definitely messed that up. Hometown Sandy Fork, Delaware, not Sandy Hook. Oh my God! Bandito <laughs> gets a running start here, but it's great. Timing issues. Him and they're both down. This matchup taking its toll on all six competitors. You guys got to go home. <laughs> this Wednesday, we're going to beat y'all's ass. Malachi, Brody, if violence is what you want, we'll take a good lard look because the varsity blondes are not afraid. Lard? A little lard. Can Rhea not the, stay not hard on look, the lard task look. at hand? <laughs> or will she go after Nikki A? Oh, oh, what? She what? just did. Tamina trying to avoid contact and Rhea Ripley got her anyway. Uh, she did avoid contact. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, they got it. E M M E N T L Edmonton! Wow. Okay. That is correct. <laughs> this is this is what we're doing uh, on Monday Night Raw with the tag team division. Great. There's no surprise to me that the inner circle got faction of the year because since day one. In AEW, our mission statement has never wavered. We promised to take over this country, to dominate this company, and this country, and this <laughs> world. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to welcome back for the first time in nearly 20 years on SmackDown. For the first time in nearly 20 years on SmackDown, it is my honor to welcome to SmackDown for the first time. In <laughs> for the first, first time in 20 years. In nearly 20 years. Lita! With respect. Wow. October 9, 2019. Wow. You know, most days, I would say I am fully satisfied with my career. Until kind of recently, right? I did not have the opportunity com to compete in the Royal Rumble match when I was competing. We didn't have one. But now we do. And I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I, that's Cap. <laughs> that's Cap. Totally Cap. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't a Royal Rumble. <laughs> that means lie. Oh, a Taz segment. I love it. It's Taz. Hey, so we, on the other side with the Dark Order, you have five and ten. You, you, you know why six is afraid of seven. Because eight. Nine, eight, nine. <laughs> You're the worst. What? Just seven, what? eight, nine. That was it. I knew that seven. You that's so horrible bad. at math. <laughs> I'm a product of the New York City public school system. I think. <laughs> the SSW. <laughs> Again. Jeez. That was funny. Taz is funny on commentary, by the way. I, fucking Taz on commentary is great. <laughs> My world with Jeff Jarrett. In Davis, California, the next night, it's a raw taping. Meltzer would write Jarrett and Wyndham beat LOD in a weird match. The match was boring with Morton Gibson and Cornette in the corner. Animal uh, was hit by Wyndham with the tennis racket while Morton and Gibson were fighting with Hawk, and then they pinned him. The bell rang, and they were announced as the winners, although apparently it was a screw-up as everyone acted weird and just kept wrestling looking mad. What do you remember about this match and why it was different? I remember this for sure, Conrad. I don't know why, but my God, it was a stinker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was scrambled eggs. 
they didn't want to beat anybody. I, I don't know the politics behind it, but it was not good. So the match gets edited to hell. Uh, it cuts off at the pinfall. We don't ever see the DQ. So thank goodness it was taped. Seamless, huh? You're fired. Scrambled eggs. He's <laughs> always outside of his office. We're going to go talk to him. Where is the world heavyweight champion? You look agitated about this. What is on your mind, Cesar? What is on my mind, Emilio? You want to know what is on my mind? Huh? Enhance. El Jefe, talk to me, boss man. Are Where you? is the world heavyweight champion? You look agitated about this. <laughs> that can't be real. He is reading the script while it's in shot. Wow. What is on your mind? He's tonight? reading the script while it's in shot. What? Meets a fan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? I love these signs of like different games and stuff like that. This is dope. Resident Evil 4 is GOAT. Crash Team Racing is better than Mario Kart? Ooh, that's a tough one. Which one y'all choose? Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing? I like both of them, but I I've always liked Mario Kart. It's a little bit better in my opinion. Comment down below. Let me know which, one, which game y'all prefer. Crash Team Racing or Mario Kart? What the hell is that? Numbers don't wear ties. Has more chemistry. What? Donkey Kong Country 2 has the best OST. Waluigi sucks. Ah, uh, not Sin Nook. Like Sin Hook. That's a good sign. Now that's a good sign. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, not one of those. You can't get the titles off the rope. Oh, no. Not to get the scissors chance. Oh, you can't get them. Oh, that just takes you out of it when it happens. Those belts look pretty cool, too. Oh, it just takes you out of it. Botchamania. Definitely Botchamania. Ah, oh, at last, as it should be, you and I to the death. <laughs> you talk too much. You want a mic check? This is Vince McMahon back with Jesse the Body Ventura. This is Jesse Ventura. Oh, they, One, oh, two, three, four, five, oh we're six. going way back. One away. Ten second throw back to Mean Gene with the Twin Towers. Good, thank you. I can't read this. The light is the shits. <laughs> of course, I need my cheaters, I guess. <laughs> not, not the glasses, man. I I forgot Vince uh, at one point uh, early, like early in the, um, like when they were on television or whatnot, Vince was on commentary. He didn't become an on-screen like presence until later on, but that's crazy. You got like a bag of laundry, Tony. Got you, man. <laughs> laundry man. <laughs> Pop myself on that one. Yo, the dis. He said you look like Big E. Hey, Big E. Hey, fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> he kind of do look like Big E, bro. <laughs> Having fun right now. <laughs> oh, didn't see you come in. 
I'm Ben at the Sage. You may remember me as a nondescript asshole in any one of the Channel Awesome movies. But today I'm here to read to you from Eddie Guerrero's autobiography, Cheating Death, Stealing Life. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy my sonorous and dulcet tones. Okay, Russo nice and voice. Ferrara were under the misconception that gimmicks in bad comedy vignettes were the answer to WCW's problems. Mm -mm -mm. Nitro became even more of a mess than it had been in Bischoff's final days as Russo and Ferrara tried to pop ratings with an endless series of stupid angles, swerves, and what they thought wrestling fans wanted to see most gimmick matches. Mm. For whatever reason, these guys were total marks for a pole match. They put anything on top not of the pole. Not a pole, Pinatas, man. brass knuckles, a crowbar, a leather jacket, Buff Bagwell's mother. What? My personal pole match fiasco had the revolution locking Billy Kidman's girlfriend, Tori Wilson, in a shark cage. Then Perry Saturn challenged me to a match and the key to the cage on top of the pole. I was supposed to save Tori by grabbing the key and winning the match, but the finish was a total mess. I had put on too much baby oil before the match, and the combination of baby oil and sweat all over my arms and chest made it impossible to climb up the damn pole. Every time I tried to get up there, whoosh, I'd slide right down. Ah, shit, I thought. What am I going to do now? The other filthy animals started panicking and tried to help me. I pushed Conan off. Don't worry, I've got it. I unintentionally pie-faced Billy Kidman. Fuck off, I can do it. <laughs> Finally, I leapt for the key and oh, thank wow. God I didn't miss. I would have been so screwed. That was one of those do or die moments. Yo, you do whatever it takes. Eddie with the hops, man. That was nice. Very impressive. Thanks to make the match That's work. Easy, Eddie, man. I left WCW after Thanksgiving, little knowing that I wouldn't have to worry about Russo and Ferrara or WCW for much longer. Thank you for joining me on this special that occasion. That was a pretty if cool little story, If you enjoy story, my voice man. or you want to see more of me, you can check me out here on YouTube. Just type in Ben at the Sage or Anime Abandon. I'm sure you'll find me. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where Matthew found that fucking bullshit song, I was the one who introduced him to it. <laughs> you're welcome. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big reaction right here, Excalibur. I mean... <laughs> That's definitely Adam Cole. <laughs> That's definitely Adam Cole. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like that Snoop Dogg figure up there. <laughs> hey, Hook, did you find what you were looking for? I left empty-handed. I was looking at that Snoop figure, but I could think of better places to put my 150 bucks. Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he spent his 150. I guess that's a better place to spend it. <laughs> Aktung, my new name is Gunter. That's right. Gunter, get your fucking head kicked in. You're gonna get your fucking head kicked in. <laughs> You're gonna get your fucking head kicked in. All right, we're almost out of here. Now, from here on, it gets pretty normal. Offices, storerooms, a nice false front. I count to three. Hello, I want you. I open that door, room, and we move out. out. Everybody got that. Ready? Follow the leader. One, two, three. I like how they were just sitting there in the restroom. <laughs> And he closed the door. Maybe trapped. <laughs> that was a funny but intense segment, bro. That that brawl was great. Oh my god. Nothing can keep me from focusing on my duty except for one Bruce thing. Pritchard. A crippling obsession with large breasts. Yeah. I was trying to figure that out. Like I know uh, some of you guys were sending me the clip, well, like the the screenshot of that, and I'm just like. This is on NXT. This is what we. This is what we promote. All right, cool. Our partner is going to shock the world because he is none other than the Shock Master. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, not the no the wee bowling. <laughs> <laughs> the wee bowling. <laughs> nice. 
despair. <laughs> Not this clip. That never uh, happened, did it, Vince? I like that matchup. Fight and, and it'll be pretty even. <laughs> Not for long. Yeah, you'll use that special move you keep talking about and really let him have it. That'll piss him off and suddenly it's, whoops, here comes his latent powers, I didn't see that coming. What? Yep. Your last thoughts before being dissolved into powder will be <laughs> impossible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How could you be so certain? He could be another peasant chump with a black belt. Or a lucky drunk. Or maybe an aggressive salesperson. It's the hair. They always have spiky hair. Oh, it makes sense. The winner of this match is Gunther. Lieben, Glauben, Globen. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Send Hook. <laughs> Bink. Oh, damn. Hey, Mr. Burns, did you get that letter I sent? Letter? I don't recall any That's letter. because I forgot to stamp it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that kid slays me. That kid slays me. few words but a man of many riddles so riddle me this what is it that is always coming but never arrives quickly quickly we ain't tuned in on the riddle bit chief yeah we give up what is it that is always coming but never arrives oh, <laughs> oh man i enjoyed this one this one was a a, a good one I'm glad uh, I got to check out Botchamania 4 for, hey, I also, I really want to know, comment down below, which game do y'all prefer, Crash uh, Team Racing or Mario Kart, man, but I appreciate all the love and support, road to 70k, appreciate y'all kicking me, see y'all next one.